There seems to be some drama going on with the jury selection for Donald Trump's New York City trial. This is from NBC News. Two seated jurors in Trump's hush money trial were excused and a potential juror was booted after tying Trump to Berlusconi. One juror said family, friends and colleagues asked if she had been selected for the jury and she didn't think she could let the outside influences uh, not affect her decision making. If you can't be impartial then you shouldn't be on the jury. Here's the thing, though. It can be difficult to be impartial. You have to be careful with how you manage that kind of thing. But it's going to be almost impossible for Trump to get a fair jury in New York City, and the media is not making it any easier. Thursday's jury selection in former President Donald Trump's hush money trial in New York City began with a rocky start after two jurors who'd already been sworn in were dismissed from the case, underscoring the difficulty lawyers are having in finding jurors who can remain impartial. They're not going to have any. They're going to have a bunch who lie about being able to be impartial on the trial, but that's about it. One of these seven already selected jurors was let go after she had told the judge she now had concerns that she could not be impartial after friends, colleagues, and family members asked her if she was a juror on the case. The juror, a nurse, said she did not believe she could let the outside influences not affect my decision-making in the courtroom. And that is the juror who was afraid that her um, identity had been leaked by the press because Axios decided to give descriptions and careers of the jurors who had been sworn in. Not a good idea. If you want the trial to go through then you would probably not want to dox the jury. Axio seems to be left-leaning, but they're doing the work of the right wing, which I think is fine, because it means that Donald Trump can get out of this terrible show trial that is just election interference and remain unscathed. After she was dismissed, Judge Juan Merchant chided the media for reporting on some of the details of jurors' appearances and places of work and ordered the press not to report on physical descriptions of the prospective jurors or their answers about where they currently work and used to work going forward which I thought was kind of a general rule anyway. Jury intimidation is definitely a problem in general. It should not happen. And anyone who says Trump has been doing it is a liar. Uh, We just lost what probably would have been a very good juror for the case because of such reporting, the judge said. If she can't remain impartial because of outside influences, she was never going to be a good juror. That being said, she should not have had her, um, her occupation or description listed in the press. The judge had previously ordered the jury to be kept anonymous because of safety concerns and said Thursday it's kinds of defeats or it kind of defeats the purpose of an anonymous jury if people can be easily identified. The second juror was released after being brought in for further questioning following concerns from prosecutors that one of his answers during questioning was not accurate. He committed an act of perjury because answer lying on those forms is uh is a crime. The man who'd been sworn in as a juror, as juror number four, had said in, or said in that, uh, some weird phrasing, sorry. Uh, The man who'd been sworn in as juror number four had said in that neither he nor a family member had been accused of a crime, but Joshua Steinglass of the Manhattan District Attorney's Office discovered that somebody with the same name had been arrested in the 1990s for tearing down political posters and that his wife appeared to have been involved in a corruption inquiry by the DA's office in that same time period. Yup. And it seems as though they were right-wing campaign posters, conservative campaign posters. So... He was not only uh, convicted or what was it? Was it convicted or? Yeah, it was arrested. It was arrested for a crime, but it was a crime that would have made him partial against Trump. Merchant said that during uh, the additional questioning, which was conducted at the bench with the lawyers, the juror expressed annoyance about how much information was out there about him in the public. So basically, he's upset that he got caught committing perjury after conferring allegedly i'm not saying it actually happened it's just what it looks like after conferring with the lawyers the judge said i'm directing that juror number four be excused after dealing with the two dismissed jurors attention turned once more to the process of selecting additional jurors from a pool of 96 people the same size pool that was used monday and yielded the jurors who've already been sworn in As it did with the earlier group, the process got off to a slow start. Asked as a group if they thought they could uh, not be fair or impartial, 48 people raised their hands and were dismissed. 48 people were honest. Yes, I believe everyone 
with higher level thinking is capable of acting in a way that is impartial, even when they have their own biases. There are people who are intelligent enough to be able to set their biases aside. I'm not saying it's easy, and I'm not saying that you're stupid if you can't. I'm saying that it's not an easy thing to do, and it's very honest and, I believe, honorable to admit when you can't put your, um, your biases aside. And being incapable does not make you stupid. Let's see, a slightly smaller number than the 50-plus who were excused Monday. Another nine were excused for undisclosed different issues before those remaining began individually answering questions from the judge's 42-question que uh, questionnaire. Uh, one juror in the initial group who said he was born and raised in Italy was dismissed immediately after comparing Trump to Silvio Berlusconi. I have no idea who that is. Oh, the late media tycoon and former prime minister of Italy who'd been involved in numerous sex and corruption scandals. Ah, OK. Yeah, he definitely can't be um, uh impartial. The Italian media uh, have had a very strong association with Mr. Trump and Silvio, S Silvio Berlusconi, the man said, adding, it would be a little hard for me to retain my impartiality and fairness. Trump remained seated uh, when he and his lawyers were introduced to the jury pool by the judge, but his attorneys did stand. The former president had his eyes closed as Merchant described the case to the assembled crowd and could be seen yawning as Merchant wrapped up his remarks. Prosecutors and lawyers for Trump will have less opportunity to dismiss potential jurors going forward because both sides or both used six of their 10 uh, preemptory challenges Tuesday. While both sides can make an unlimited number of challenges for cause, it is up to the judge to decide whether to grant those challenges and strike those jurors. Merchant dismissed two jurors for cause Tuesday, one of whom had posted a lock him up message about Trump on Facebook, but he denied some other challenges. Trump bemoaned the number of challenges he can make Wednesday. The judge uh, has said he hopes to have 12 jurors as well as alternates selected by the end of Friday. So we'll see tomorrow, I suppose. Early Thursday, the DA's office er, complained that Trump had been continuing to violate the gag order, borrowing or barring him from trashing potential jurors and witnesses with a series of posts on his social media platform, Truth Social. Really, has he actually been trashing potential jurors? Um, it doesn't really matter. They're going to say that anything Trump says is a violation of the gag order, even saying just the phrase make America great again. They'll claim is a violation of the gag order. Anything that Trump does is going to be something they're, go they're going to try and use to put him in prison because this is a show trial because that's what evil communist scumbags do. Let me know what you think in the comments, then head over to my Locals page, thearthurnix.locals.com for exclusive content you won't find anywhere else. Till next time, thanks for watching.